Okay, I am here with your writing prompt for today, for Monday, it's March 31st, and your math problems, your daily math problems. So, um, today is March 31st, it's the last day of March. If you remember, we used to say a rhyme um, in class about the months of the year and it was 30 days have September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31 except February which has 28 and 29 in a leap year. All the rest have 31 means that March has 31 and that is today. The last day that we spent together at school was March 13th. I'm going to note that note on here. Well, hello. And so your writing prompt today, I have been trying to keep a little journal of what's been going on in our town and in our family since we've been home. Um, and that's why I've asked you to keep a notebook and to write the date every day. So that you can keep this as a record of what you were doing during this time. But how many days has it been since we were together at school? That's your first question in your writing prompt. And <clears throat> most of you are having, or all of you that I've heard from are having a good time at home with homeschooling. I'm enjoying being home with Benjamin and Josh and Adrielle, but there are things that I miss. So the second question, um, I just want to know what kind, what things do you miss from being at school? What do you miss about being at school? And how long has it been since we were there? Um, about <laughs> being at school. I'll tell you a little story about Arthur. He has been spoiled for a few days and um, I was giving him my leftover tuna. I've been eating pasta, putting some tuna in it for protein and then if I didn't want the whole can, I would give him the leftovers. And so he ate that for two or three days. And now he is very upset that I am just giving him cat food. And I'm not giving him any more tuna. So he keeps coming up to me and meowing and crying for it. Okay, so that is your writing prompts. Let's look at your word problems for everyone. First year, so we're going to have word problems about um, the safari, which is a biome in Africa, in the continent of Africa. So this question is about rhinos, rhinoceros, for Monday. The people on the safari, I said safari, safari is a biome, I meant the savanna, <laughs> which is um, grassland. The people on the safari saw seven black rhinos and nine white rhinos. How many rhinos did they see in all? Do you remember the phrase in all and what operation that means? That, can you see that? In all means we're putting them together and adding them. And you're just going to write a number sentence for that word problem. Second years. We are going camping in three weeks. Well, that is exciting. I wish that was true for me. We are going camping in three weeks. How many days is that? How many days in three weeks? So in three weeks makes me think that you're going to count the days three times. So you could add those three times or you could multiply by three. And here's the third year question. We're talking about... I am back with third year's word problem. Uh, we are on a farm. 
Third year's your word problem is about the chickens and the eggs. Kay lives on a farm. Her job is to collect the chicken eggs. On Sunday, Monday, and Friday, she collected 15 eggs each. On Tuesday and Wednesday, she collected 14 eggs each. On Thursday and Saturday, she collected 12 eggs each day. How many eggs did she collect during the whole week? Well, good luck with those word problems. And since we have a little bit of time, and I forgot last week, we can do our cursive. H I J K L. I think we're going to do K and L, and I think I got distracted and forgot about those. So K and L in your notebook. Um, and we'll think of some words. <coughs> You're not making me sneeze now. With capital K and L. I have to get a tad closer. Okay. Capital K, we're starting at the top and we're making a slanted line. That's how I do it, so let's do a whole row. Across your paper. Capital K, 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 what starts with K? Kitty, the kitty. If it were the first word of the sentence, kitty could start with a capital K. Let's try that one. Capital K, I, P, P, Y, and then we will go back and add the dot, cross, cross. What else starts with a capital K? How about Kentucky? We'll do a capital K, E, N, T, U, C, oh, it's not almost going to fit, K, Y, and then cross. If you think of more words with capital K, go ahead and write them down in your notebook. You can pause this. Let's go on to L. L. L is a really pretty letter and it's really fun to write. So we're going to start at the top. We make this loop, slant down, loop. Let's make them all the way across, loop. Slant down, loop, loop, slant down, loop. And then find your favorite. Words that start with capital L. We have a friend in our class with capital L, don't we? Lily, capital L, I, L, Y, and then go back and dot. Any other words you can think of with capital L? You can write them. I'm trying to think of any more. <clears throat> um, my mom's name is Linda. We can write that. L I N D A dot. <laughs> I have been thinking of my mom and my dad because we haven't visited them <clears throat> in a couple of weeks. So we have just been talking on the phone. Maybe you have with your grandparents or Facebook or FaceTime. Okay. If you want to spend a couple more minutes on your K and L until you like the way that they look, um, maybe fill up a page in your notebook. 
have fun with that, and we will be back. Hasta luego!